I'm C.A. Vosberg. And I'm Brad Osborne with Electron Machine. Today we're going to give you a brief history of our company and give a product demonstration of our NPR e-scan refractometer. Electron Machine was founded in 1946 by my grandfather, Carl Vosberg Jr. In 1957, he patented his idea for the first inline process refractometer. We've been designing and manufacturing them ever since, and we've used this decades of experience to come up with the latest version, the NPR eScan Hybrid Digital Inline Process Refractometer. It's got many, many different applications in lots of different industries. Some of them being in the food industry, such as anything to do with sugar and water, fruit juices, jams, jellies, tomato paste, milk. Uh, in the chemical industry, could be sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, ethanol, glycol, uh, urea. And then also in the pulp and paper industry, we measure things such as black liquor, green liquor, and even red liquor. The, uh, we're here with our NPR eScan demonstration unit. Uh, the NPR eScan is a hybrid digital critical angle inline process refractometer. I know that's a mouthful, we'll kind of break down what that means. Um, the critical angle part means that we're measuring the, the light that gets reflected off the liquid as it's flowing through the pipeline. And uh, the way we're doing that is by uh, starting with an LED light source. We're shining those lights through a lens onto a mirror, a prism with reflected mirror's surfaces on it. And this side of the prism forms our uh, process interface. The light that gets reflected back in off of the process is what we measure. So this forms our actual measurement here. Now that light gets reflected back inside of the sensing head and is measured on a digital CCD detector. That's on this card here. We're immediately converting that digital signal to an analog voltage and we're sending that analog voltage back to the console where we can keep the, uh, the more sensitive microprocessor electronics better protected from the uh, industrial environment. So that's where the hybrid digital term comes from. We're using the best technologies from both analog and digital to not only give us a very accurate reading, but also give us the ruggedness that we're looking for, long-term durability, and of course, easier servicing. I mentioned that to all the more sensitive electronics are back here in the console, and they're better protected not only from the heat and the vibration, but also electromagnetic interference um, and anything else that's uh, present in the industrial environment. The measurement is uh, calibrated and temperature compensated, and it's displayed on display, of course, any number of units that the user might desire. So, on this, uh, the door here, when we open it up, we have all of our sensitive uh, digital electronics, a microprocessor and all that, on the door where we can easily remove a hinge pin to replace it and upgrade it in the future if we need to. The customer connections are located on the interface board down here, and we have a power supply as well. Lots of different output relays for uh, uh, different kinds of control, either alarms or input. And of course we have 4 to 20 milliamp output as standard as well. The uh, console itself is made out of fiberglass and of course it's NEMA 4 rated. The user interface is this 20 button touchpad, which you can access at any time and you don't have to open the door to expose those electronics if it's raining or if there's some other bad, uh, bad weather or something like that. Uh, the display is, of course, a high-resolution color display, daylight readable. Uh, the sensing head is, is NEMA 4 rated as well, all stainless steel. The uh, actual interface for the process, besides the sapphire prism, which is nearly as hard as diamond, and you don't have to worry about scratching it, the actual uh, prism holder is made out of 2205 full duplex stainless steel, and that can be made out of other alloys of uh, stainless or, or any other metal as well, such as Alloy 20, Hastavoy C, even tantalum for some of the very bad hydrochloric acid applications. Uh, we also offer, of course, intrinsically safe and air purge options for both the sensing head and the console for hazardous environments. And uh, we custom tailored the sensing head itself specific to your application to give you the maximum amount of resolution out of the CCD device as possible. Uh, the cable is an extra heavy duty cable. It doesn't require any conduit. Uh, it's shielded from um, electromagnetic interference and it's designed to last decades. Uh, the standard uh, coating is a polyurethane coating and we can also do that in Teflon as well. 
We have various different uh, adapters available to install the sensing head into your process. Everything from simple inline adapters with either NPT or flanged fittings. You can also make this in something like a polypropylene or polystyrene. Uh, sanitary adapters for the food industry, which are all polished and, uh, and made to the appropriate uh, sanitary standards for clean in place. We can do welding adapters, of course, into the side of a, of a uh, pipeline or the side of a vessel or a tank. And then, of course, we have large spool adapters for the larger pipelines. And we can even do an isolation valve, which allows you to isolate the sensing head from a, from a critical pipeline without, of course, shutting down the process flow. Well. I uh, believe that's it. Now we'll uh, give you a quick demonstration on how the instrument works. So uh, we have put our sample cup on top of our sensing head. This will allow us to put an actual product on top of it to give you a reading. We're displaying an RI, which is just refractive index. Uh, Some customers prefer it that way. And right now you'll see that the unit is showing question marks. That's uh, perfectly normal. There's no product on there. So we'll start off by putting some uh, normal water on here. And uh, as you can see, it's starting to read the product. And we should be at 1.3330, uh, which we actually are. Oh, it creeped up to 1, which is normal. And uh, so we're feathering between 1 and 0. So what we need to do is match this to a lab sample. Since we know water should be 1.3330, we'll go ahead and show you how to do that, because a customer would do this. So they would just go down here to the analog 0, and we're going to go in there. We're going to stir, store the current reading, and then we're going to tell it that it should read 1.330. Now we'll go back, and now we're reading dead on. So we've zeroed it out to water, and this should give us a bricks reading of zero. Say you want it displayed in bricks instead of RI. So we're going to change our product on here, and we're reading zero. So now we're going to clean it off, and we're going to put some soda on there. Now we're getting a bricks reading of 10.5, which is percentage, and basically what you're seeing is it, our soda contains 10% uh, sugar. So you might want to think about next time you're drinking some soda. So that's a quick uh, product overview of the NPR eScan. Well, now that you have some understanding of the features of the eScan and a little bit of an idea how it works, I'd like to go over some of the key details to actually make it work at your facility. Uh, as you've seen, the actual uh, measurement occurs right there at the end of that prism. So it's important to us that we keep that prism clean. Otherwise, we won't get a good representation of the liquid that's flowing through that pipeline. We have many different ways of doing this, and uh, the easiest one would be just a simple ball valve for something like hot water or, or some kind of a pressurized water purge for a, a non-aggressive coating that just needs to be removed periodically. And that can all be done directly from the console itself. Um, and of course, if you're looking at the 4 to 20 milliamp output, that would all be um, that would not be seen by the operators. It would all the reading would be held during that brief period of time while the instrument was clean, and that could utilize a, a tube or a nozzle that's incorporated into one of our adapters. For something more aggressive, we would use steam, uh, preferably, uh, and we actually we offer a prism purge pack that would not only give you the purge solenoid valve, but also give you a condensate drain, and that ensures that you have nice hot fresh steam available for the actual purge so that we can get it over as quick as possible to get the instrument back online reading. Uh, if uh, wa low pressure water or steam is not a, a, a good enough cleaning uh, medium, we offer other options as well, such as high pressure water cleaning, or even a mechanical cleaner that could either be hand driven or possibly even pneumatically controlled. Uh, the most important thing perhaps though is service after the sale, the customer support that we can provide Electron Machine. We've been doing this for a long time, so it's very key to us to make sure that we have our instruments out there working with happy customers. And one of the ways we do that, of course, is a two-year guarantee or warranty on the equipment. But we also offer a performance guarantee. If the equipment doesn't perform the way it should, we don't want it out there at your installation. We want to make sure that we get it working correctly. 
we can provide or we have technical support available 24-7 um, through our uh, hotline that's available on our voicemail phone line and we also of course have assistance available via email. Uh, to further that we also are very um, aware of how critical it is to get parts and service done. So we offer a very fast turnaround on both parts and service and uh, repairs of course as well. Uh, to further that we can also send our field technicians to your facility to work on the equipment right then and there. So I hope you have a better understanding of who Electron Machine is and the MPR E-Scan refractometer. Please contact us if you have any questions and we'll do our best to, uh, to answer all of your concerns. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to learn about the MPR E-Scan refractometer that's designed and manufactured right here at our facility in Uvatilla, Florida. At Electron Machine, we're very proud of what we're doing and that we'd like to address any further concerns or, or questions that you may have. All of our contact information is available at electronmachine.com. Thank you.